jóvenes, jijoperos de Chile, desde aquí del sur del Bron, de Nueva York en los Estados Unidos, les mandamos un fraternal saludo de todos los jóvenes, de toda la gente que lucha al interior de las entrañas del monstruo. Para ustedes, nuestro cariño y nuestro amor, porque el hip hop es rebelde, porque el hip hop es victorioso, porque el hip hop es organización y también está del lado de los pobres, los marginados de todo Chile y el mundo. Community activist Victor Toro has been living and organizing in the South Bronx for more than 25 years. In 1987, he along with his wife Nieves Aires co-founded La Peña del Bronx, a non-profit community organization dedicated to advocating for immigrant rights, cultural awareness, and the betterment of a large and low-income South Bronx community. For the past 20 years, Victor has been instrumental in organizing community meetings, events, and protests with the goal of building the power of the people in poor communities throughout New York City and beyond. Despite his positive work, both Victor and La Peña del Bronx have consistently been the target of police intimidation and city official scrutiny. Yet Victor himself is no stranger to repression and intimidation tactics. With only a third grade formal education, Victor educated himself and went on to be one of the top leaders of the MEAD organization in Chile during the 1960s and 70s. The MEAD, which stands for Revolutionary Leftist Movement by its Spanish acronym, was one of the largest revolutionary organizations in Chile during this era. In 1973, democratically elected Chilean president Salvador Allende was overthrown in a bloody CIA-sponsored military coup. Allende's policies, which the MEAD largely supported, were a threat to U.S. companies doing business in Chile. Allende was replaced by a ruthless dictator, Augusto Pinochet, who was more friendly to U.S. capitalist interests. Under Pinochet's rule, thousands of men, women, and children, including many from the MEAD, were captured, incarcerated, disappeared, tortured, and murdered. Victor Toro was captured and remained a political prisoner for three years in Chile, enduring torture at the hands of the brutal military. The U.S. and its president at the time, Richard Nixon, supported Pinochet dictatorship and turned a blind eye towards his blatant disregard for human rights. Luckily, Victor was finally released but forced to leave his homeland of Chile. He spent time in Cuba, Nicaragua, and Mexico before finally landing in the South Bronx in the mid-1980s with his wife Nieves Aires and their daughter Rosita. However, Victor was never able to get his U.S. citizenship as a political refugee, since when he was forced to leave Chile, the dictatorship had falsely declared him dead, revoking all documents that confirmed his identity. On July 6, 2007, Victor Toro was arrested by U.S. Border Patrol while on board an Amtrak train in Rochester, New York. His arrest was part of a random inspection by immigration officials, where agents often racially profile and target people of color. The Department of Homeland Security has charged Victor with the violation of residing and entering in the U.S. without proper documentation. His legal defense team has requested political asylum since he came into the U.S. as a political refugee fleeing a murderous regime in Chile. Ironically enough, this regime was supported by the U.S., and thus the very government that is trying to deport him is the government that supported the repressive actions that brought him here in the first place. We, we say political, political asylum for Victor Toro. No, no human being, being is illegal. illegal.